Hello guys, this is Sajid. Welcome to my channel Artisans Web. In today's video, we are going to see how to use, is how to connect multiple database in Laravel. On my screen, uh, you can see the blog I have written on this same topic, uh, which describe how to connect multiple database in Laravel. So I have given all possible ways to connect that database and how to use them. So I will paste this link in the video description below. So let's see all steps in action. First of all, open your database.php file and in your database.php file, let's assume we have to add MySQL database, we have to connect another MySQL database. So what we need to do is just copy all this array and paste it here. Yeah, I have pasted it. And some minor changes I have done here. So I just rename it to MySQL2. Again, these variables for these variables, I have append underscore 2 db database underscore 2 db username underscore 2 db password underscore 2 because these are the database credentials. These are the credentials of another database and env. It means all these details are coming from env files. So we need to define these three constant in our .env file. I have written it here. My database name is Dev Rivers. My username is root and password is empty. This one is my another database. Now how to use it? So I have created controller, product controller. And let's see, since by default my database is Yeah, Laravel. My default database name is Laravel. But as this is my another database, so I show you how to fetch queries on that database. So let's say I add products db colon connection. I pass the name of your second database connection which is mysql2 then select and write down the query select from my table name is products where id equals to i'm passing id 7 here I'll print it. Oh, you have a skill check manual correspond to where ID equal to what I'm doing wrong here. Oh, I have blog. Let's correct it. Maybe it's a little bit syntax error. select star from users where id equal to yeah, it seems correct syntax oh sorry select star yeah so i get this record from my another database so this is the query builder we can use to fetch the data from another database table. Now we can do this using our model as well. So for our model class, there is one variable called connection. Just pass that another database connection string here, MySQL2. Now to get the record, I will use product find and my id 
refresh oh. done why oh there is no id exists with one i pass it seven yeah so we got the record id 7 cat id 5 manufacturer 8 id 7 cat id 5 manufacturer 8 so this is another way to get the record from another database now one more way is available in that case we can set connection at runtime like our query builder so for that i create instance here then product set connection and pass the string database connection string here now instead of this product fine now i refresh it same thing same record we will get here so these are the all possible three ways to connect with your another database and fetch the records from that database. So I hope you understand the tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching video. Have a nice day.